Hi, this is going to be a, kind of a, a very brief, um, not necessarily expert tutorial on how to make the negatives, um, digital negatives, so that you can print the cyanotypes. Um, I had showed you the, um, the T-tone ones as well, but the, this is what the original was. Um, Jessica, uh, what is your name? X Fairy Magic 420, something like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, you had sent me uh, the note on the comment, and um, we were talking about the issues that you're having with printing. So we'll just I'll just go briefly over how I do this. So I'm using the Picturico OHP, which I am assuming you're using as well. Because um, you said you got it from Freestyle. And I wanted to make sure that you are using it on the correct side. Um, I'm guessing that you are if you read it over, but in case you're not. Um, so when you have the paper, all right, there's a little notch in this corner here. When you're looking at the paper, and that, that notch should be at the top right hand corner. That is the side of the paper you want your ink to be, uh, from the inkjet, to be adhering to. Uh, the other side is going to be, is, is a little bit shinier. You, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell with the naked eye, but you can see that the, the back side is um, kind of glossier. So that is, make sure that you have that side to be the side that your printer will be printing on. So that's kind of the number one thing. Um, oh, I have a lot of extra things in here. Um, so then I will go over, I don't know what um, what editing program you're using. I use Photoshop Elements and I will go over how I go about getting my negative ready. You've done a lot of research, so you've probably got it all figured out. Uh, maybe it has something to do with your printer, I don't know, but I figure we'd just do a little troubleshooting here. Okay, <laughs> I recorded this whole section of the video with my finger over the microphone. So I'll do it again. All right, so you have your, you're going to want to bring up your um, image. Let's see, make sure I'm not covering up the microphone there. Um, so, all right, so you have, you want to bring up your image. You want it saved as a TIFF um, or however large you can save it. Uh, this is uh, 300 DPI, 8 by 8. Get that, that focus in. Uh, so that's big enough. 300 DPI will do fine for that. And, um, you know, you go through the whole process of uh, inverting it, and then when it's inverted, you need to do some adjustments. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up the, um, the negative that I've already done, so you can see what the difference is from when it's originally brought up. So that's, that's the original negative. That's just straight from what the... Um, what the edited and wasn't edited too much because the hipstamatic does a good job with the exposure and everything like that. But that's what it's like when it's just inverted from the positive and this is what it's like once I've adjusted it. So you can see that a lot of the a lot of the um, lighter areas here are actually a little darker here because you want to make sure that it is dark enough so that um, it will keep some of the UV out so it's not totally, uh, let's see this one here, um, you, d you don't want, you know, you, you want to have some gradation there. Uh, so if it's, if it's too light you wouldn't even get some of the cloud stuff there. So you have to make sure it's dark enough so that it, you know, keeps some of the UV uh, from going through. So, um, 
so that's that. So y if if you're doing it according to you know real technical uh, um, tutorial, they're going to talk about curves and things like that. I still don't understand that. So I eyeball it. <laughs> And I eyeball it to the point where I can see that when I have the negative against something light, I can see that you know the dark areas, you know that I that I that it's going to be obstructing the light somewhat, and um, that there's enough contrast there because yeah, it's deceptive of how dark it needs to be when you're looking at it on the screen. It's if you're just printing it out on a paper, it's going to be a lot look a lot darker than when you've got it on a transparency. So sometimes you have to fiddle with it. Now it doesn't sound like your problem. I don't know. Your problem it has to do with it sticking to um, to the paper uh, to the transparency, and I don't know why that is. So we'll just go over the print settings. Um, so when you go to print settings, um, I while there is an inkjet transparency setting, I was advised by somebody else who took a class actually to put it on the premium photo paper glossy um, that it sticks better to that. Uh, change it to black, do advanced. Um, best photo is fine, but you don't want it high speed. And those are the settings that I use for actually printing it. I'm not going to print this because I've already done it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's helpful in any way. I don't know if that is addressing any of the things that you're doing or not doing. But um, that's all I've kind of got to say about it right now. Until I would know more about how you're actually printing it. So let me know if that's helpful. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.